Hello, I'm Reckon7, and welcome to a brand new, exciting one of Roller Waves. Uh, or Roller Waves 2, I should say. So it's been, let's say, about six months since we last delved into this fantastic naval warfare game. Um, and I wanted another go. I had kind of half been holding off for the uh, update, coming, but it's not come yet, so uh, yeah, we're just going to run with the current version. So I thought. I'm going to talk about something I've done before, and I want to give the CSA a, a, a go. So I've not I've not had a game with CSA present, so it'd be interesting to see how that plays. So we're going to start in 1900. Uh, we are going to play as the Confederates. And obviously our, our own little aim for this playthrough is going to be to outshine our northerly brothers. Um, okay, so what about this? We, the democracy, Caribbean is where we build, fair enough. We get a game bud budget. We have an undeveloped shipbuilding industry, which is not great. Uh, pretty sized dock, sm pretty small docks we're in with. Obviously, no old stuff. We get a research advantage in submarines, which is okay. But actually, to be honest, in terms of winning wars, that's really useful. Um, and certainly wars against the likes of European powers, that's going to be really handy. Not that most exciting. And um, we start off with only availability up to 11 inches. So a bit of the, uh, a bit like Germany in that regard. Okay, so let's start as a CSE. Dive on in. We uh, we did a name. Um, what should we call ourselves? Oh, I don't know. We could go for. Uh, I can't even spell this wrong. Once I was going for Lafayette, and I just don't know how you spell it. Hold up. So, the old. Uh, Hey, well, internet to rescue. E educate me because I'm a, a poor, uneducated job. Lafayette, there we go. There's a nice kind of. Uh... Oh, it's more American than Southern, really, isn't it? Well, obviously, French. It's a more American Revolutionary War. Okay, that doesn't really make sense for the South. Take it back. I don't know. Right. Is a random name I've made up. Um, <laughs> that, that went from like really uh, uh, intense, dedicated, oh, there's a link I want, to realizing my link is completely off, so I'll fix it on random. Okay, we'll go for large this time. Uh, we'll, we'll just do game resources. We'll keep uh, research rate. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll drop that down to say 80 or 90. Let's go on 80. We'll push back the planes and the missile tech a little bit, and we might not even go that far into it. And because they're great, but I think game is more fun. Uh, we'll not do very tech. We will do harsh peace deals this time. And we won't do any advantage. Won't slow aircraft development, and we'll keep the hundred. And we will manually build our fleets. First thing we'll do. Three. There you go. July was the last time we played it. Seems to be. It seems to be a game a year. Finishes July and does me for a while. The other thing I want to change, but we can work that once we get into the game. Okay. Why are you still here? Okay, slightly uh, panicky there. Are we going to start with a crash? Yes, yes, we are. Awesome. No, we're not. It just it was just taking time to think about it. Fine. Right, we need to build the existing fleet. Um, what was that? Can I still change? Yeah, I can. So, uh, things to talk about in preferences. We're going to go this game because this is relevant. Uh, we're going to rear admiral's mode. So, the last one we played for the Austro Hungarians was in captain's mode, which means every ship, every order, every torpedo shot you get to control. And that's fun, and that's the most efficient way of playing. Um, but it. Maybe a little bit, so I'm not too gamey, but I don't know. Also, I suppose it's slightly easier because you can really you can really do horrendous damage with your torpedo boats, your torpedo attacks by controlling um, kind of in an nth detail. We're going to go up a level to Rear Admiral's Road, so we get to... We still get to control uh, essentially individual ships and certainly anyone we can give signals to, but um, we don't get to fire individual torpedo shots. We've got to rely on our captains. For I'm going to go for that this time around. Uh, and other stuff I might tweak with later, but it's everything else I think is just sitting as it was. Um, 
Okay, so we need to design some ships. I had a thought about doing some of this stuff, you know, pre camera. Uh, I never got into it. Right, so we're going to start with quality 11 is all we're going to get in our dreadnoughts. Um, we can only up to 14,000 tons. These things are going to be pokey. Fine, normal fuel board. Speed is. Um, everything slopes start of the game. All right. Uh, fairly standard to draft. Yep. Yeah. Seven is secondary, it's okay. No, I don't want that. I might go down to sixes. Have a few bit a few more of them. Probably want to up the our pill armor actually. Don't we? We have a look at our guns. Uh, what are they actually they're terrible. We can punch through only up to six inches of belt, really. Okay, what does what twelve's doing for us? Don't, I know I've not researched them, but hang on. Go to Great Britain. 12 is something we could be up against. Even they're only getting through like 7 so we don't need masses and massive amounts of armor. But a little bit would be nice. Um, let's, and let's just build everything local. I mean, we could go overseas, but for, for our, whole, our current fleet, we'll say we'll build local. Maybe see nine inches of belt if we can get away with it. We might be able to do that, but extended. It's fine. Deck. Conning tower. Evan Conning tower. Turrets at a nine is good. Uh, yeah, it brings it down to eight and a half. Turret top of two and a half is good. I have to be in defense? Oh, I do. Up to two. Well, we're going to need some of that. What are you caught? Well, let's start. Let's go right up to 40,000 tons, eh? Seventy tons. 40, 40, 70. So maybe we'll go for 14 knots. This looks okay. Shave a few a few uh, tonnages off here. Bring down to a five. Actually, I, don't want, I mean, because things these are um, trash, right? So I don't I don't want to spend too long worrying obsessively about the design. I just want something better than what the game was going to give me. All right, we'll go with this. Fourteen knots. It's slow. It's horrible. Um. Oh, I've done that thing where I've got twelve-inch guns. Okay, so this is a, um, uh, I don't know, feature, bug, call it what you like. If you are building a ship and you go to a foreign yard, you can select the type of gun they have. You can then come back to your own yard and you get to keep that gun even if you don't have it. Um, which, so someone argues, not really how it's intended to be played. Other people may make the argument that, oh, actually, you know, maybe you've made an... Uh, uh, a, you know, commercial agreement with the foreign yard that we're going to import their guns and their turret system to fit into our hull. You know, there's, there's ways you can RP it. Personally, I, I like to... I, I don't like it. I think it's a bit... I don't think it sits well with the mechanics because there's no penalty for doing so. You think it should come with a increased cost or a reliability issue or something. So, in the spirit of playing fair, aka hamstring ourselves, we can get that back. We can probably go up a little bit further than belt. Go up to the nine, which is nice. I think nine's as far as I want to push it. We could squeeze in a few more pop guns. Up to 100 rounds per gun. That's still a little bit light, but I think we can get much more than that, possibly not. I will bring this down because um, your accuracy is terrible early on as well, so it is good to have. A reasonable number of rounds per gun. That's probably enough. Anything else I'd want to tweak here? Nah, that's okay. That's age. I mean, it'll, it'll age quite quickly. I'm going to bring it down to see. Same as my secondaries. 
fine and dandy. Well, actually, I noticed what is like a six inch? What do you punch through? I can't remember. Quality zero, punching through about three inches. All right. So really, we could bring you guys down, say three and a half, which is going to protect you from smaller caliber six inches, but not from like those eights, which we may up against in some of the heavier cruisers. Uh, actually, no. Five inch. Oh yeah, because five inches would do. That's something I can accept. I don't want cramped the company. Well, normal company. It was on the weight gone. Turrets, my boy. Turrets. Could I squeeze another knot? 100 tons for 16. That's surprisingly tempting. Okay, I'm going to do that. Oh, I've got torpedoes. Uh, yeah, no, I'll keep, I'll keep them on this. Early gun. They can be still surprisingly useful these earlier ships. I'll see no way anything like that. Awesome. Check design. Oh, well, what? I, I did wonder. You let me select it. Yeah, okay. Well, that was pointless. All right, well, let's give ourselves some more ammo because we're going to be shooting and missing a lot. Let's go up to 140. But, I mean, could I get these up to like some? That's just insane, isn't it? I will right, we'll keep the 16. Give them good protection. So a minute, I'm, I suppose I'm, I'm maxing out what I can do. No, that's fine. That's fine. Let's see, I'm maxing out what I can do. Um, zero weight remaining. We could, so my, my thoughts are either lots of secondaries case mated fine but at least you should hopefully give a reasonable chance of taking out some of the smaller ships or we give it better survivability against the bigger ones but given we're going to be outgunned i think what we might do is keep these as good at chipping weight with smaller ships and if we want to go in after like the 12 inch dreadnoughts using our you know our destroyer runs for that Ah, uh, yes, it is a, a, a dreadnought, not a. Is B not a BB? Change anything? Give me 10 tons. Fine. Yeah. Stop changing things. Why? What? What? I'm clicking the auto design, not the check design. <laughs> Okay. okay, we're off to an absolute flyer. Uh, that's right, I remember what we did. Let's see. That was nine and a half, but I said three and a half. Morning tower was half. Nine. Well, let's do nine and a half since we're not for a belt. Turn it top with two and a half six. Uh, we had six inches. Uh, we had lots of them. Four inches, and we had lots of them. Much more up. Okay. I think we've. Kind of plunging hits like yeah, it's not. Let's put a pretty thin deck extended. It says 100 tons there, and that's all done. Sweet. So we managed to slightly more armored turrets. I think was out of this. Good ones. Uh, okay, there we go. We'll take off two of them. I'm happy with that. That was the button I was looking for. And then we're gonna see it. Okay. I do. So we have got half a million to play with. These are costing me 50. So I'm probably going to get, say, say, four of them. That's a good chunk for money. Um, now we're going to need to sell. Let's grab some destroyers because we're going to watch those. Nice and cheap. So yeah, oh, it's a destroyer, not a problem. Uh, 500 tons, usual stuff. 
27, that's not bad speed for start things actually. Speed, Schnee armor. Okay, you're 34 uh, knots off. I think we're going to get away with this. 26. Really expensive to go from 25 to 26. Hold, hold you up from there. Quite a little pea shooters at front, which is fine. Quite a lot of torpedoes on these early ones, which I, I'm a fan of. Three torpedo broadside. Kind of okay with this. Ah, uh, car cramped accommodation. Could just do that. Ooh. Maybe. Okay. I mean, they, they, they're not going to be taking on any other ships with three inch guns, really. I'd, I'd almost rather. One four inch gun. Which is still terrible, but like, these are torpedo bolts, essentially. Uh, heavy crowd center line, affect rate fire. Yeah, okay. Design me a bolt that doesn't particularly work at the minute. Right. So let's go for. Um, we'll just do a pair on each side then. G and H. Oh, H and I. Really like. Yeah, they look good. We'll get rid of um a two center line. Okay, so same number of torpedoes, slight less flexibility. Oh no, well, that looks like it's gonna work. Fairly bog standard early game destroyer. Let's do it. Yes, you're costing me not much. Um a dozen of you would be only 20. Very cheap. The 18 of you. Nice. Built 12. Pretty happy that now we need to build our cruiser for it. And we have some, yeah, I like cruisers and some armor cruisers. Let's start with, I think we're limited. Oh, limited on lights a minute. Check. We can't do it. All right. We'll do that then. If we're getting away with, uh... I usually it's something around the kind of five thousand ton mark. The light, I think. I'm scratching my head trying to remember how to play this before. Um, and yeah, six is you know it's quite a nice way to. That's not a bad turret arrangement. Want more ammo? Shooting you lots and lots of ice cold destroyers. Couple of torpedoes is nice, fine, and dandy. Speed's a bit low. Well, that's four hundred tons to get. Ooh. Well, that's not too bad. Three knots lower than our destroyer. Still a lot faster. But also slow. Pre Winch is about. That's quite low. And a half. Tower can get to these are uh, these are pretty pretty unprotected when I'm talking about 20 knots yeah that's fine do that a minute okay we could that we could 20 knots Inches of belt. 
maybe it's a bit heavy for a, a cruiser. Really, you want something like that, which is where all our weight's gone. And they're not going to be the fastest in the world. But this should be okay. So we're, we're, we're bog standard fleet cruiser rather than something which is going to uh, potentially chase down military ships. Normal. Da -da -da -da. Medium range. Yeah, 3 inch belt, 2 inch deck. Just a whole bunch of 6 inch guns. I like it. Using a little more ammo. That was good. No secondaries, no tertiaries, just pure 6 inch fire. Again, I don't want to overthink these too much. Um, that's a very, very new start game. Like, yeah. 60 a million. I'll do that for just now. I might want to sneak in a few more. I want to sneak in red and uh, destroyers, actually. I was thinking, really, four, four battleships, maybe six heavy crew, six armor cruisers, eight light cruisers. Ah. It's uh, Zenith sells an armor cruiser. Could also put some into production. Bit of an armor cruiser, please. Yeah, somewhere around the 9,000 ton mark is reasonable. Sevens. No, we want eights. Uh, let's see, so our light cruisers go at 20, so I mean I'm happy for you guys to go at say 18, I want normal freeboard, station, medium range, belt, normal belt, what's 8 set punch and do? Only really need 5 inch to protect you from yourself if you come up against, are you going to come up against any 9s? Maybe. And then they're not doing better, so I'm going to quality minus Ten. So actually, early doors. Early doors. You guys are doing okay. You get any more turrets on you? And there's a here's a possibility. I can't remember which ones I've got. Research at the start of the game. Turrets. I know, if we just do say the, the midships. What have I got? Uh, and just the wings. Oh. I just pure center line at the minute. I think was, I'm not sure I can have three center line turrets. I'm just worried eight inches, it's good because it's our best quality gun. I'm just not sure it's the. Uh, best thing in the world. Oh, these are all wing one. Alright. We might just have to go with this for now. Okay. Let's do... Okay, couple inches extended, two inches deck, one extended, that's fine. Coming down, down, let's show by five. Secondary. Let's take that. Chunk of weight left. Okay, we'll go with that. Fifty ton, uh, one hundred and fifty rounds of ammo, and maybe squeeze half an inch on the calling tower. Yeah. Okay, and we've got a couple of twenty-two to plant tons to play with later on. Ah, we can always. Oh. 
No, let's do something like that. Cool. Ah, uh, maintenance nico. Guys, don't like this. Oh, also, I know, I had a thought. I was adding you in doubles. I could look at with singles, couldn't I? Oh, never mind. You're gonna f shoot slower because you're a smaller gun. You're, my, you're, you know, you punch through as good as the 10 inches, and I can do more stuff. You know, sorry, it's fine. It's a very underwhelming armor cruiser. It's very expensive. Alright, we're gonna get four of them. Um, we probably also want to build some. A Corvette. Don't really need to, ah, yeah, like for tra trade protection. But we can do that once we get in the game. It's not so worried about getting that on the cheap. Uh, so the stuff we build now, we get like half price. Fifty K left. We rock another couple of these guys. And then yeah, get another couple of Yeah. Alright, I'll do. That's a reasonable fleet start, isn't it? Four pre dreadnoughts, four armored cruisers, eight light cruisers. 24 dead destroyers. He's most speed. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. Done. Sure. Ships under construction. So here we want to do the monthly balance. We're going to build ourselves um, like a couple more on design. Full chip. I have, say, two of these. All I want. Health chunk in my balance, but it's not, not killed it completely. And honestly, that might be it for just now. Well, let's maybe just grab a Corvette to do. Um, Yeah, mine's sweeping gear, please. This is, this is fine. 500 tons is okay. Just to, just to trade the protection stuff. Sure, a couple of 4-inch guns, why not? Do I need to use any more of your weight? Are you happy with that? I cannot build corvettes during peacetime. More corvettes. Oh, is it 610 minimum? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you'll do. I have a dozen of them just for trade protection duties. Wow, that didn't really make a dent. Build another, uh, good number. Yeah, hey, well, let's. Another half dozen of these, bud. And that's it, and then we'll bank the rest. We'll start building ourselves up a little bit of a. Uh. What you call it? War chest. And that way we'll have some. some money to play around with. Absolutely. Well, not my docs. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we are. Yeah, things we need to do. Research. You get full 12%. Uh, 
we would very much like guns. Uh, yes, we really want. Okay, so we're not slight forces to be there. Yes. Put you on high because I've got the advantage. Lots of shells, they're just nice when they come through. In machinery and army good because they're just flat saving, so I'll maybe leave them a medium. All construction. Fire control's pretty high. Ah, it's kind of important to be able to hit stuff. Damage control, not so much. Threats and mounting. Ship design. Oh, I can't remember which, that, which falls into which cargo now. Right, I'll keep my medium. I'll have to um, go away and look at the tech tree again. Think about exactly how I want to do this. That'll do us for now. And we'll steal stuff. Especially from you. And, well, you. I don't want a, a war of Grey so I'll have to mag. But, um, see whatever tech they can give me. Alright, so if we click squeeze on the map, as we are almost halfway around. This is the world, obviously, most of the holdings as per normal, but we have. Here we go, our little corner world. Charleston, Pensacola. This is Cuba and Haiti, no Dominican at the minute. Uh, we also have. Is that Puerto Rico? Potentially. Yeah, Caribbean geography, let me down slightly. So things we want to do, we'll obviously take these islands for British if we at some point. That's probably gonna be a late game. But actually the long term, the one thing we want to do is outshine the US. So obviously in the, in the base game, uh, when you don't have a CSA, US starts, you know, not in a great footing, it's okay. Um but the industry just goes mental as the game progresses, like hugely develops, the way it runs and generally becomes more powerful nation. I don't know exactly how that split when you get CSA breakout. I suspect the Americans still get the bulk of that, so it'd be good if we could try and outshine them. We'll probably want an, like an early war with. We don't have hate. an early war with um, yeah, it's probably the US because they are, you know, they're not much stronger than us at the minute. If we check the Almanac, all right, they went for six rather than four. Uh, slightly more CAs. Best destroyers, same sales. We're much of a muchness budget, ever so slightly big. We want to nip that in the bud before it gets worse. Really, we don't want to pick, we don't have war with the Europeans until we've got submarine sword because we can't go and fight them. And then it's going to be ah, the usual contenders of. There is no Italy, so I don't know, maybe Russia, maybe France. Good starting war. Something like that. So we want to save up. We can save up to about 60 million at the minute before we uh, money office. And yeah, I think we just want to go through um, some research. Oh, our doctrines. Easy to, I mean, that's, that's a million gunnery and to people. I'll leave gunnery off for just now. I would like to Peter Warfare, especially on Rear Admiral, where you don't, I don't get to choose the shots. Let's apply this. Good. Uh, other thing we should probably do is potentially put some people into reserve, to be honest. Uh, especially if they're only unfair. Yeah, we'll stick to. Yeah, uh, oh, not like all of them. We got three quarters of the destroyers in. Maybe just a bit. Our peace tensions are down, we can all bring people out. I've got no one who's um who's uh crew quality I'm really looking to protect. Alright. Give ourselves a little bit. I should build some stuff. And he's building a battleship. Britain. 
currently building my budget. Mm, okay. And lead down a new battle, a new district. Red not. Do we want to build a new district? I feel like we don't. I feel like we want to put a tech before. Blocking and rolling. Oh, we get some destroyers out. Very nice. There, please. For destroyers. President wants to reduce finance for navy. Got a new palace for a luxurious yacht. Um, absolutely not doing that. Tension up. Get my navy league on it. Okay, good. Just a little bit of tension early on. Corvettes and some destroyers. The new government wants to reduce naval spending if you have a social programs. Hmm. If this actually improves your economy, I know there's a railroad where you can get a, a bunch of money you can choose to invest. This is not it. I think we're just going to boost the tensions again. Okay, submarines. We are going to build some submarines. This is our advantage. Let's build a bunch of these guys. There'll be terrible reliabilities to early doors, but we'll get us going. Right, so we should probably put those guys onto Mothball. Finish building them. Just don't need to carry a call. Yeah, a new hawkish government wants to raise expenditure. Yeah, excellent. Belgian support Britain is building a 7 inch coastal battery. Oh, we should build a couple. Okay, good. I'm going to stop spying on you for just. So I don't want to go to war with you. Uh, we could pick on Germany. Why not? And yeah, we probably do want to build a couple of coastal batteries around. Um, like Miami is a good spot. This is probably Barakoa. Barakoi. Oh, we've got some ice. Four inches. We've got six inches in Gulf Coast Gulf. Here, you can One, two in the Gulf Coast and two in Southeast. Uh, I go to six inches. What choices? Southeast seaboard, Gulf Coast. Must be in somewhere. Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Port. Right, so I cancel like this. I want to build a couple more. Six inches are relatively good time. Let's go. There's only one going on. Okay, so yeah, let's build one there. I'm building it. A couple of cubes. Our uh, defense. Six inches in. Any one of those, please. Six inches in. We're going to want air bases here eventually because we're going to be fighting in around this area all the time, I suspect. Right, so we finish the areas. Tempted to stick a couple more on the seaboard. Not so much for Gulf Coast. Okay. Of the jubbly, I only built one in Cupani. Uh, let me just offer a little bit, of, a little bit of resistance. 
a bit of a problem, some of these coastal target, uh, coastal type missions and all that kind of stuff. Right, our man, top spies manual holder blueprints for the US Dreadnought Ohio. Guessing 12 inches, yeah, 4 12 inches. So we've got 7 inch secondaries, fair enough. Two submarines here, 13,000 tons, 16 knots. So same speed as us, a lot less armor, bigger guns. Okay. I'd, I'd have a go at them. Put in mine, close battery, fair enough. There's been upheaval in Dominican. Oh, hello. If we spend the expedition force to restore order, there's a chance that we can take over as a colony. It risks increasing tensions with the USA considerably, and other nations may object. So it's win win win, if you ask me. Colony and tensions. Send a force. The USA has sell an ultimatum. Unless we abandon our designs, they will declare war. It will not be dictated to. If they want a war, they will get it. Uh, nice. And there we go, straight up. World War is inevitable. That's bold. Headlines of war in the US and uh, the blooming Eurocentric Canadians still featuring a prominently a map of Europe. Goodness sake, eh? Get under the thumb of uh, Britain, Canada. <laughs> okay. Can we? Can we invade? I mean, uh, where's my circle? So it's right next door. You'd like to think so. I mean, yeah, yeah, we can. Wait, let's do it. Uh, let's get all my ships. Everybody. Now uh, we're all going to go active fleets. Yes. I see we're still in the positive. So, uh, which is the thing I don't have ships. And we're going to go trade protection for you. Okay. Do with maybe some more of these dudes. Let's perhaps commission another batch. Another 12 pity pats, please. Let's push me ever so slightly negative. But no, it's that long. Okay. We can't get ourselves into our first action here. See if they come for us. If not, if they don't come for us. We should be able just to invade Haiti. So this is a nice little uh, primer for them. And the ideal war here is that um, we take Haiti, and then in the peace we get to keep it anyway. And then the peace deal we can get war reps from. Circle. One battleship, two CL, one AV, and oh, five TV. Let's go. What? And ships not able? Why not? Hang on. I made a slight error in uh, all the areas I'm present in. North American East Coast. Caribbean. Do you guys count as the East Coast? It's a little bit. Not sure. I may need to... Put some ships up here. However, bulk of the American Navy is now in the Caribbean. Look, let's have a list. Let's do it out. Attack on enemy coastal slipping. Unfortunately, none. Yes, it is. Why? You, I don't want to fight up here. Oh, we just give like a thousand victory points. In the war, it's not off to a great start. Alright, fine. What are we gonna do? One battleship, two CLs, and six. Let's grab one battleship. Here with Jackson, we'll take the uh, what's in the bayou. Six. Six enough. Let's take eight. We're gonna move you. If you click M key, you get a box. You can't see the box because I'm on the screen. Box we can select we're going to, and we're going to the North American East Coast. Okay. I'll skip through them, we need more destroyers. So lay down another six of these guys. 
and that is where we're going to call this first episode of a series to a close it's a little bit of a teaser close to be honest because you'll see on the screen there that we are about to get an invasion battle but that is going to have to come in episode two just by virtue of the length of these things with the uh, first episode of a series you always think you want to start things off with a bit of a bang get your best foot forward do that kind of malarkey uh, and fair to say that it wasn't necessarily the case uh, in this one uh, starting with the uh, grumblings of a name Lafayette the the error in terms of the shipping areas and what the northeastern sea zone covers and crucially and most importantly the seriously dubious ship design decisions that i made uh, with regards to speed so my uh, battle cruisers my heavy cruisers and my light cruisers are probably all about two knots behind where they really should be uh, even at this early stage of game which is something which uh, will uh, come forward in the next few episodes so i'm I, i'm no doubt some of you are screaming at your screens saying man this guy's incompetent but uh, we're just gonna live with it roll with it and we'll move on at least at the start of the game your first fleet doesn't last you too long and we'll get some nice shiny fast stuff later on anyway i do hope you guys have enjoyed this as ever, if you have any uh, ship names or anything like that, feel free to sit in the comments below. I'm always happy to add these things in. Uh, otherwise, I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheerio!